Hey guys, uh, and uh, good morning to uh, today's coronavirus cases, uh, a bit later than usual, uh, yeah. Oh, that shopping, so, so, uh, today, today, um, it is, uh, coronavirus, uh, day, uh, 331, uh, So we have uh, lower cases than uh, usual, uh, okay, so that's uh, good, so uh, at uh, 1,388 coronavirus cases, uh, okay, so so today uh, so I want to talk about uh, after so there it's revealed that uh there are uh, going to we're going back to color zones right after you know starting monday you know so uh So, there's, there's a, so I'm not so sure like uh yeah. So February 9th. Yep, so but there uh but what's going to happen is uh if uh, a certain uh, region uh, in Ontario is uh has a uh, high high cases or like a uh, health unit like you know in that air in that region is uh, has dealing with uh, coronavirus problems uh, that region will automatically be put in the gray zone so t today's case is uh, 455 is from Toronto okay so I was in Toronto today and it was freezing. Oh, it felt like seven, felt like minus seventeen, and woof. So, oh yeah, just for the weather. So, two hundred eighty-eight is from Peel region, and one thirty-one is from York region. So, okay, so it's just a big three, again. 45 uh, deaths have been reported today. Although I'm looking for... Hmm. So apparently there has uh, not been uh, any changes, uh, so, uh, so you know, like, at the UK, so there's not, been, uh, nothing about the uh, Brazil uh, variant, coronavirus variant uh, yet, uh, but, uh, uh, we will f f find out uh, if it uh, ever showed up, uh, and let's hope it doesn't. Because uh, already, like you know, over one over one hundred fifty uh, plus, uh, you know, UK variants are in uh, Ontario, and uh, that's the variant UK variant uh, that's the one that's the most serious, serious one, and the South African and the yeah the. The first one that we found was uh, in Peel region, so, so it, it you know, a, a person, citizen of uh, Peel region, Peel region, somehow got affected by someone who got the. This person never interacted with this person who went to Africa and came back, so that's the question we're all wondering, how.
So it might have been like uh, something like similar to like uh, how the how the eighty year old uh, man from uh, you know, living in London Middlesex region who uh, somehow got affected with the UK v variant uh, by some who went to you know the kingdom and came and came back. I don't know when someone near him maybe and then you know he got it. This the eighty old man never traveled. Outside of Trent, Canada, no known history. So yeah, but uh, yeah. So yeah, he's uh, healthy now. So that's good. No. So I guess starting Monday, yeah, uh, we uh, are uh, having a, uh, yeah. We're back to regular color zones, uh, so, yeah. So So we're trying, they're trying to, they may do this because like so many people are overwhelmed and it's get everyone stressed out and uh, yeah, yeah. So until each region, region transitions back into a color-coded framework that allows the province to rank health units based on case numbers and trends. So, uh, so here's an update. So, uh, so, uh, so this is uh, Northumberland. Northumberland, Quinty West, and Quinn Kingston, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington region, Renfrew County, and the area of Timmy uh, coming uh, are expected to move in the least restrict. So we're back. So this area is going back into the green zone on Wednesday. So this means restaurants and non-essential businesses are opening. So February fifteenth, uh, so uh, so on February fifteenth, uh, every single region except Toronto, Peel region, and York region will be go will be like going back to green, yellow, orange. Or red zone, or possibly even gray zone. So yeah, so this is good to hear. So, uh, so of course, the Toronto Peel region, New York region, are expected to be the last to make that transition on the week of February twenty second afterwards. But if there are any changes, yep, the, that could change. That could be extended. It could, it could be earlier. We'll find out. So this is good. This is good news. So of course it's the rural regions. Uh, so uh, yeah, the stumble. So I have uh, updated the list down below. So stay at home rules are still in effect until, you know, the date, until, yeah, Monday for, uh, basically, Halliburton, Halliburton uh, Court, the uh, Peterborough, the uh, Northumberland, Quinty Rest region. Kingston, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington region, Renfrew County, County, and Tennis Gaming. Uh, county, yeah. 
You guys are back. So, like, please mark your calendars for this. You know, this is important. So, uh, just, just as a reminder, uh, stay at home regulations are still in effect until February 9th. Or until, like, yeah, yeah. Your uh, designated date. Uh, so, February, February 9th for certain parts, and February 15th for certain parts, and February, you know, for the rest of Ontario, minus Toronto Peel region and York region, and February 22nd for Toronto Peel region and York region. So, coronavirus rules still and and uh, regulations apply to all. So, you know, you you know still. So remember, these rules still apply for when you uh, are going shopping, work, school, banking, medical appointments if arranged, business appointments if allowed, child care services, access to governmental and social services, delivery of goods, caregiving, take your child to the parent or guardian, take someone in the same green, same household to the proof faith Based under the order, helping someone who has experienced domestic violence, unsafe conditions, or in need of uh, emergency assistance. Some people need that, so help them. So you can go out for exercise, uh, you can walk your dog, must be leashed at all times. You know, you know the rules. And only in the, like a dog park section of the dog park you are allowed to walk your dog. And the rest of the park, no, no, no. Say skating is allowed, although uh, some uh, towns and cities uh, do not uh, allow it. Uh, Vaughn, Ontario is one place that doesn't. Please check. So, you can attend a place related to the administration of justice. You can exercise your Section 35 indigenous or treaty rights. You can go to an airport or transit station for essential travel. Companies like Metrolinx are like really pushing people to only go out for like a essential reasons until you know. Cause it benefits uh people like you know if you do these th things and uh yeah. You can uh, visit a house of a person living alone, not someone with living with another person, or a group of people. No no no. You can find and obtain animal food. You get veterinarian services and distances is still available. Travel for exam purposes is available and uh, is allowed. Moving or making arrangements to buy or sell property, enter to begin or end the lease. I know some people are like moving. Uh, so yeah, that's allowed. So, you know, just know the rules uh, about like uh you know how to you know mortgages and uh you know ending a ter terms and uh you know you know how leases uh so there are fines for individuals who don't wear a mask or face covering in businesses and other indoors public spaces and other crowded outdoor spaces you'll get fined if you break this rule you can get fined and even closures for businesses that are contravening an order. This includes running a business when told to close temporarily, not coronavirus by screening staff. So no mask on, breaking capacity rules, no safety rules for staff offices, and not checking your staff for following coronavirus uh, rules. Uh, so if uh, you're like, if you were like a uh, business is open and uh, you break any of these rules, or staff member does, yeah, this can cost you like a, yeah, a temporary closure, and yeah, I tell you, you don't, you don't want to deal with that, and yeah, because several Ham Hamilton businesses have broke these rules, and yeah, they ended up on the news, and that can be pretty embarrassing, because Hamilton, Ontario is known for naming and shaming businesses, and I tell you, it can get ugly. So, 
and also fines for in for gatherings exceeding more than five people who are not from the same household. So, uh, the host uh, can, will be charged at ten thousand for large gatherings, and everyone who shows up at that large gathering is that uh, pay seven hundred fifty each. So you might end up uh, fi paying if it's just like a you know a gad it's a gathering. You could end up uh, end up having enough pay a fine of a uh, eight hundred and eighty dollars, two thousand dollars, and so like a and the total amount number of, of uh, fines uh, that you have uh, to end up paying uh, could total up until up to uh, at least three thousand dollars combined by like every single person who showed up so or it could be more than that so please don't for the safety of uh, you know other people so the school the uh, school have uh, opened uh, already uh, for uh, you know And uh, Grant, so, so, so we'll be opening, uh, so already open to several places, and uh, it will be opening on Monday, February 8th in Brant Region, Chatham Kent Region, Durham Region, Haldeman, Northwark Region, Hamilton, Huron, Perth Region, Lambton Region, Niagara Region, Simcoe, Muskoka Region, Waterloo Region, Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph Region, and Windsor, Essex Region. Toronto, Peel Region, New York Region uh, will uh, be, be delayed until Feb Tuesday, February 16th after Family Day. So it'll be easy to remember because, you know, it's after uh, technically a break day. So changes will be made if they're made if they're like uh, issues involved in coronavirus uh, cases uh, in schools uh, or in a certain that. Uh, Town or city. So, uh, takeout, drive to delivery services, and restaurants, bars, and cafes will be available. Use DoorDash.ca if a restaurant's website isn't working for a delivery. Use the app or call. So, today's hospitalization is at. One th 1,221 hospitalizations. Uh, Minus 22, okay, that's good. 325 uh, still pe people, st patients still in ICU. And 228 uh, of the, them who are uh, using a ventilator though, that's plus three. Plus we have uh, less patients. Uh. So I don't, I don't really understand uh, why uh, they chose not to show uh, the coronavirus variant uh, cases uh, t today because uh, cause who knows that uh, the cases might have increased uh, today and uh, and maybe we might have even had the uh, coronavirus uh, you know Brazil uh, coronavirus variant uh, in Canada Delmer. So long-term care home uh, deaths is uh, at uh, uh, is uh, unfortunately is at uh, three thousand six hundred and fifty-four, and uh, So there's like currently 208 uh, outbreaks right now. And 115 uh, of uh, uh, long-term care homes have not reported uh, no cases, uh, so it's just good. So uh, unfortunately, so so it's the same case as uh, so 
the outbreak death number is still the same. So please uh, follow coronavirus safety rules. Rules. Uh, use social media to contact others. Only going on social like like essential travel. Stay out of the areas where coronavirus can be high and uh, follow coronavirus death. So like you know, stay at home regulations until like you know. It's a uh, yeah, like, uh, until uh, we're going back to like top the color zone rules, uh, which means I will be uploading the color zone rules again. So yeah, so please should you keep uh, if you could keep a track. So uh, so. I've mentioned it down below, so you know, keep track. So uh, you know, don't go other uh, other provinces for vaccinations. Uh, fine is five hundred dollars and six months in gen jail for uh, breaking in, breaking the safety uh, the safety uh, rules. Uh. Stay safe. So at least we have some good news.